<laughs> oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. 26 degrees out there, quite foggy. Be careful of going to work today for sure. Paul was like, I wasn't even sure I was going to make it this morning. It was really bad out there. High temperatures, though, I promise you will see the sunshine today. High temperatures of 51, low of 29. Pretty much the same thing for tomorrow. A little bit warmer, 55 for that high. Look at Sunday, not, not bad. We may see some rain. You've been rain. saying that all week. Yes, I, I ain't seen the sun yet. <laughs> You will see the sun today. It what's, did come out yesterday. What's that song from Annie? <laughs> what? The sun will come out tomorrow. Sun. Yeah. It's always tomorrow. Yeah. Well, There's my princess. Uh, yesterday, what? but I was in Nashville, so. Well, they they had it, a little bit. Sleet, not much. Snow up there yesterday? Yeah, no sleet and snow, no rain, nothing up there, so. Okay. Hey, what's new down at Chick fil A? You said you've been, I think you have something come up. Yeah, we've got, I mean, you know, we've got chicken tortilla soup back. It's here for the for the winter, so come get it while we've got it. Yummy. So, uh, but yeah, in February we're going to do a promotion, so keep your eyes open. It'll. Uh, we're going to do a coffee giveaway, so we'll have all the details uh, uh -oh. coming up Where's in the next, next couple weeks. It'll be iced, yeah, iced coffee and hot <laughs> coffee, so, so Zach can come in and get his, his iced coffee, so we'll take care of him. So If it's free, it's for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's good. That's good. So that's his slogan. So iced coffee, free, other kind of me. special coffee coming up. Yeah. You can't buy Chick fil A coffee though in a bag like I got some of you. No, you can't. No you can't. So uh but uh well, it's special. Yes, you of are. Course so he we're is. Uh, they're they're testing it in some markets, so we're hoping that'll come out soon, um, where we'll be able to sell it in the stores. So <laughs> besides yeah. in the cup, so but yeah. Man, you we gotta do something here to get you some national exposure like that guy in Birmingham sucking up all the publicity. <laughs> <laughs> We need to stage. Always doing something nice for somebody. St stage something so, so so you can catch it on video and and put it out there for everybody to see. I, I, I got to tell you a weird story. I, I, I saw a thing yesterday and Brad's got it. I'll show you. This is up in Colorado, a convenience store up there. Guy comes in to rob him. Got his mask on, everything, and he comes in and, and he walks in and he says, "Wait a minute, I know you. I was going to rob you." And just uh -huh. gives him a thumbs up, turns and walks out. Oh, wow. Look. I was going to rob you, but I know. He said, you know me, the guy behind the counter. No. He said, that's good. <laughs> wow. That's something else. Yeah, it's different. Hey, for all you folks, too, guess what I found out yesterday at Texaco next door? Guess who's coming back to work up there? Ann. Ann is. Ann is going to be back to work at Texaco. Back to cooking. Yeah, they got new management over there. Mm -hmm. Gas I filled up yesterday, the Hummer was one ninety nine. Wow, that's hard to believe that gas has dropped that much. And we'll get lower. It will drop. Yeah, more. probably by summer be down 150 a gallon. That's now the sales of gas guzzlers are going to go back up. So when will it go back up? When will gas go back up? It may not ever. Really? May not ever. You We're think so? Hey, uh, Joseph, do you look up the Duggars the other day on YouTube? I did. Uh, we're going to start going on Thursdays. We're going if we get a chance. I know day Thursday. We're going to start going to throw back on some things. You flashback today. Flashback, flashback Friday. Friday. Yeah. Well, it's kind of catching. Yeah. Okay. You can do that. I just come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, right now. I mean, just like that, we Gloria. Just just like, it together, bam. Just I want to go to some of yes. that video. I don't know if this is the first or second episode, but the Duggars, Melvin and Mamie, are still alive and well. Yes, they are. They're attending churches. Frank sees them sometime at his church. They're always out doing things. <laughs> Probably the two of the best. You know, if you ever been a reality show, this yes. would be a true reality show. Just Real down people. to the earth, salt of the earth. People yeah. want to run. Somebody, somebody always ask about them. Always. Always. So I want to run some of that right now. We'll come back with Dusty in just a second. And Joseph, the Mustang man, Mustang man, talk about what's going on. Here's a little bit of the Duggars. We'll see y'all in just a few minutes. Y'all hang on. Doing it with the Duggars on TV. Doing it with the Duggars with Mamie and me. Doing it with the Duggars, happy as can be. Doing it with the Duggars on ZTV. What did you say that is, Melvin? We're trying to take back after the Beverly Hillbillies. I got this antique truck. Yeah? Yes, yeah, a 70 model. I got a 65 around there. But I didn't want to advertise my vehicles too much. People come out here wanting to buy them. <laughs> and they 
And I want to keep them around forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that kind of is a person. Is the Beverly Hillbilly one of your favorite programs on ZTV? Yeah, it sure is. That Jethro Bodine. He's just like my son. Well, I don't want to say that too much on TV. Well, I guess my t uh, son, I hear about it. But you, it, you been writing these songs lately? Oh, yeah, sure have. Uh, local and loving it. Mm -hmm. I wrote a song about that. Oh, good. We're going to be able to hear it in a minute. Yeah. You written any more gospel tunes? Uh, yeah, I sure have. I've didn't, done written about, uh, well, two from a pretty long time ago, and now two more just recently. Oh, good. And they're really good songs, too. Yeah. What's your all-time favorite, you think? You've, you've written hundreds. Oh, do you mean gospel songs? Yeah, well, any songs that you've written. Hmm. Well, the Rags to Riches is a really yeah, good song. That's a real good one. Uh, but I, I did write a song called Dreaming of a Home That He Built for Me. Yeah. And it's a song about having a dream. Everybody dreams of the heavenly home. And so it's the song I wrote. It's called Dreaming of a Home That He Built for Me, where I can live eternally. I'm as happy as I can be dreaming of a home that he built for me. Well, what else you and Mamie been doing since we've seen you last? Oh, uh, well, we just been at home a lot. We're sort of retired now. You know how it is. Retired? Yeah. Are we trying to? We're trying to retire early. I don't know if you can get away with that or not. <laughs> well, give me a tour out here. <laughs> I don't know. Did you just want to set these? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm awful, awful slow about. You can go back. Just so slow. I'm taking back out my What y'all been doing, Mamie? I've been picking blueberries. Picking berry? How how was it? A blackberry was it a good season? Yeah. It was. Yeah. How many you figure you picked? Uh, I picked about well we sold a bunch this year, and uh, I think we sold about about a hundred gallons, I guess. Melvin said y'all's trying to retire. No, I ain't. <laughs> That's what he's saying. You been doing any singing? Yeah. I'll sing. Uh, I help him sing sometimes. So y'all still entertaining folks? Yeah. We, we sold some up at the cafe at Edmont. Yeah. Blackberries. We walked right in there and man bought two gallons from us. Anybody still seeing y'all on TV? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of people seeing us. All right. What's your favorite TV station? TZV. All right. <laughs> You still got chickens, Melvin? Yeah, sure. Got have. your roosters? Yep, yeah, yeah, there's roosters roosters running around. Is there a problem? I already got us a mosquito bite. We've been here three minutes. <laughs> She's got something on it smells good, I'm you sure. <laughs> well, I'll ask her that again. You ever had a chigger? No, Mamie. <laughs> What's a chigger look like? Well, you think, Mamie, she's never had a chigger. Yeah. No. No, tell her where you get chigger by. Where do you get chigger? Blackberries. I know, but where do you get them on your body? All over. All, All over. over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the chiggers itch, don't they? Yeah, I got them. We, well, we try to put spray on us, but there ain't nothing to get rid of chiggers, though, is it? No. Except fingernail polish. That's all. Have to suffocate them little suckers out. Yeah. My baby ain't never had a chigger. No. I, I hope I leave without one. I was going to give you one. Yeah, yeah give, give her a chigger. <laughs> Melvin, she ain't never had I a chigger. We got plenty me. of chiggers and ticks. Uh -huh. I, I even got that me. tick fever one. Oh, it was two or three days. I was you ain't got a chigger song. song, have you, Melvin? No, I hadn't got one of them yet. But you can come up with, he, you can, he can come up with one right now. Yeah, I guess I could scratch my head and probably come up with something. <laughs> other. Sing Gloria chigger song. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you don't. Melvin, hit a few, hit a few bars of who, who right we over my... We don't we like those chiggers. Day. They feel like they keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. It's just too funny. She don't know a lot to do, man. If she'd ever got a chigger, she'd probably die. Ah! <laughs> you should have come when you went with blackbird picking. That's where you get the chiggers. You've been a lot of scratching going on. Inching for my baby, and I don't know where to scratch. I'm keeping both hands busy. I'm a one man wrestling match. How oh, I missed that first week oh, kissing the poison the ivy patch. Inching for my baby, and I don't know where to scratch. I like the line one man wrestling match. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm itching again. It's just contagious. <laughs> <laughs>